So, we got a new tractor. We got a 3288. And as you can see, it's dripping a little water here. That is the AC condenser. So we actually have a tractor with AC, and for the first time ever, I'm gonna get to go bale hay in AC, hopefully. We got it hooked up to the John Deere Mega Wide 567 round baler, uh, twine tie. Uh, I got PTO hooked up. I have the right connections for this side. I have to do something about the connections on the end of this. Those are meant for the round ball, I believe, valve on the end. And these have the points, so they will not go into them and connect. I don't know why everything seems backwards on this. This side is actually the remote in the cab on this side. Every other tractor, it's this side is that side remote, and this side is this side remote, but they're swapped around. But I got that figured out. I have it hooked up to where I can actually dump a bale. So in theory, I don't actually need those. That's just for lifting and lowering the head. There is a handle in there. I can just do that manually if I need to. But we'll get it figured out eventually. Probably just going to bale with it like that today though. But I'll tell you more about the tractor when I get over baling. I'll probably throw a video in here of me raking this morning. And then you'll actually be able to hear me in the cab, so I'll talk to you and show you the baler and show you the monitor and I'll talk to you about the tractor, so I'll bring you back in a few. So, like say, first time bailing with the new tractor. Got it pulled over here. Even had lights. People don't pay attention to them, but I had them. Passing me in no passing zones, but we made it. So, like I said, this has a crank That'll let you put the head down or up. That way you don't have to have hydraulics. Not a big deal. All right, heads down. PTO's hooked up, hydraulics. Plug for lights and electric twiner. Got the other plug ran into the cab. It's connected to the monitor. In the cab. Ugh. Got the AC going. Pretty nice in here. Got our plug wired up for power to the monitor. Monitor on twine tie because this monitor is set up for twine or net wrap. We obviously have the twine tie baler. Hydraulic remote, we'll pressurize that. Yep, pressurized it. I believe there's a way to adjust the speed on these. Probably gonna wanna slow that down, that was pretty fast, but. PTO, but I'm gonna get going and then I will bring you guys back once it's going. Just cause I haven't used this tractor. I had to look at a uh, shift pattern for the first time in a long time. Cause I'm used to the shifter over here on the 86 series. But, got that figured out. It's got the eight speed 
but it's actually a four speed with the uh, TA. The TA is just uh, electric with a solenoid. That way there's no slippage. It, the solenoid acts a lot faster than you flip the lever. I believe that's supposed to prevent your TA from going out. But I got it in gear three. Before I go in high range, I think that should be six and a half miles an hour. If it's going good, I'll slap it over into four, then get up to about eight miles an hour. This hay isn't very thick, so I should be able to bail pretty fast. But I will bring you guys back once I get going. Oh yeah, the uh, stack fell off when I was leaving the driveway, and it was too hot to put back on, so I grabbed it with a pair of pliers and leaned it up against the tree. I'll get that back on later, but don't need it for bailing hay. Okay, so first bale is made. It is twining right now. Man, the window looks a lot dirtier through the camera. But everything went good on the first bale. Uh, it doesn't seem like it makes quite as much hydraulic pressure as the 86 series, actually. But like I say, there might be an adjustment that I can do to fix that. All right, so bale is done twining. That beeping lets you know that. Telling you to eject the bale. Pull that lever, kicks it out. Bale kicker kicks it. I guess it's not too fast. The monitor lag. Once in a while this monitor lags on the first bale, especially after it being hooked up and unhooked from electricity. Alright, it'll fix itself. It says gate closed, which means you're good to bail. It's just telling me to eject one. Not really a problem. We'll just remember that we gotta add one bale to that at the end. Bailer's made. 10,566 bales in its life, or at least this monitor. But I'm gonna get out and check out that bale, so. Dang. PTO is aggressive to shut off. I just wanna make sure that it's plenty tight and I don't need to adjust anything right now. Oh yeah, solid core. Yep, looks good, looks round. Baylor looks good, everything worked. I broke a spring. Uh, probably for the bale kicker. Yep, there's the other end. Huh. Well, as you can see, that one's an original green one. We have a black one over here that we put on when we bought the baler because it was missing, I believe. So, have to get another one of those. But, that'll be a job for another time. Got hay to bale. You can see, uh, you can see the baler pretty good. Got plenty of lights back there. This is my view forward. I can see pretty good, but it doesn't seem like the camera's picking up the light quite as good. I see a tire. Uh, I pulled a little trick on the baler. I was getting, I had about 20 feet left, and it had about one inch before it wrapped. I turned it all the way up, so I got a 72 inch bale in there. And I got down to about 10 feet and thought it was going to wrap, so I just shut the monitor off. I guess I can turn on a cap light. I just shut the monitor off so that didn't let it wrap, and I was able to get that last inch without it wrapping. My brother's over here. The cows need a bale of hay, so I'm just going to drive in there with this and dump the bale of hay out next to the bale feeder for them. 
and then they will be able to just eat it and I don't have to cut the twine off. But I bailed 15-ish acres, got another seven or eight to bale. This was just grass hay. The next field is Sudex. We just planted a small field of Sudex because it's a high yielding. So, give us a little bit. It was a little bit thicker than this. I was wrong about my gears. I ended up uh, bringing it back to one and then slapping it over to two for high TA. Uh, so I'm in high range, first gear, TA forward, so second gear technically, if you're looking at the shifter. But, went pretty good. Everything bailed good. Got a weird little ball of hay up at the top there. Probably clean that out. Just some build up on one of the rollers. Get that out so it doesn't start getting hot. But I'm gonna go dump this bale on the feedlot. The feedlot is in between the two hay fields anyways, so it just makes sense to not waste the twine and not waste the time cutting it off. But I'll bring you back. I imagine the cows will all be up eating on it. All right. So, got the cows, a bale, they're all up here. They've never had the baler in their pen. But, as you can see, it's a very large bale. And if you don't wrap them, they unroll when you kick them out. All right, so, like I say, I gotta get out. Just the head back down. It actually turns really easy up and down, so. Head's going down. Only got probably seven acres here to do. All the way down. See the Sudex. Not the thickest Sudex. Didn't really come in good. A lot of weeds came in it. But it works for winter feed. As you can see, good headlights. Got the little side lights. All the back lights. Beller lights are only on when I have the four ways on or turn signals, but they work too. So, everything looks good. Nothing felt hot on the baler. Worked it over. So, we'll keep going. Monitor back on. Gauge the PTO. It engages pretty nice, but coming back out. Ah, crap. Huh. Apparently when I took it out last time, it broke something. I was having a little bit of trouble with it, not wanting to come out. Alright, I better figure that out. Alright, uh, it kind of stayed in now. And I got a fire extinguisher sitting on it, making sure it stays forward. Everything seems to be alright. I'm sure there's just a little latch in there that broke. But, like I said, it'll staying spinning it looks like it'll work for the rest of the night so fire extinguisher will do the job we'll see how many we get out here I got 13 bales off of the backfield probably just over a 13 acre field it was pretty short it was thick but short, still pretty good quality grass hay. Summertime, late cuttings. Sudex. Hopefully we'll get quite a few bales off of. We'll see. But I'll bring you back if anything interesting happens or just to talk some more. All right, I got all that uh, hay baled. The Sudex is baled. 
out here to pick some sweet corn now. You can see pretty decent sized ears. Sell sweet corn out of the farm stand. The bugs are thick out here. But here was the last sweet corn patch. Never seen anything quite this bad. The uh, raccoons came through. It was just a little quarter acre carryover patch between my bigger plantings. And the raccoons absolutely destroyed it. The deer and raccoons. But you can see all the knocked over corn. Off of a quarter of an acre, I got 102 ears total. The raccoons got to it before me. But they knocked it all over. The deer knocked it all over. Every ear eaten off. That This patch was ready last weekend, so... Kind of killed the farm stand for a week, but now I'm into another bigger patch just right next to it here. And as you can see, the deer and raccoons are eating it as well. But it's much larger, so they won't get near as much percentage of it destroyed. Man, the bugs are thick out here. But I'm going to get to picking this. I ended up with 14 bales of Sudex off of that 7 acres, so not too bad. Nowhere near as good as Sudex can do, but... Like say, it wasn't a good year for it. But I'm going to get some corn picked for the farm stand. Uh, raccoons and deer are not the only thieves out here, though. I had my farm stand robbed. They took all the cash and everything. And I wasn't even the only one that got hit. They got all the local farm stands around. My cash box was a self-serve. You could make change, so it was easy for them to steal. Other farm stands, though, had uh, their cash boxes bolted to the walls or chained, and they brought saws in and cut them off the walls and stole them all right in the middle of the day. So we'll be keeping an eye out for them. As of right now, there is no change in the farm stand. It is a self-serve still, but... You have to bring exact change, and it is emptied very often. So, that's an inconvenience for now, but we'll work through it. But, I just wanted to say, hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, have a good one. And if you're in the area, stop in and get you some nice, fresh sweet corn. This will be Labor Day weekend, I'm picking corn after work. And it's looking pretty good, looking like it's going to be pretty tasty. So, hope you guys enjoyed.